All right, so how do you enable on-site compensation and registration successfully? First of all, we have a battery that I'm actually going to insert into the scanner. Close the little door, hit the OK button or the on off button in this case, and just wait for it to power up. It is a brand new uh, scanner, meaning it doesn't have any settings on it. So uh, we'll go through how you actually turn on Wi-Fi after the scanner boots all the way up. We do have, and this is a requirement, you do have to have an actual SD card in here. So there's an SD card and it happens to be one of my 16 gig cards, but uh, it has to be inserted for uh, on-site registration to operate. Uh, without that, the data, even though it sounds like it should go onto a computer, it doesn't. It still resides on the SD card too. So you have to have an SD card in there. Once the scanner is powered up, let's see. All we have to do is turn on Wi-Fi. Of course, you can go through other settings, but we're just going to turn on the Wi-Fi uh, antenna on the scanner to be able to connect to it with the computer. So we're almost there. All right, once you hear that, that means we can go into manage. You can go into general settings. And under general settings, the Wi-Fi is under WLAN. And um, I have it connected to my uh, home network over here, but because we don't want to be connecting to a network, we'll change this to an access point. The access point is what will allow the scanner to not have to connect to a Wi-Fi network, but will output the uh, Wi-Fi signal itself. So we'll turn it on. Your password to access your network is essentially from the factory, just the, all the digits from zero to nine. The, the, the access IP address is right here and that's it. So I'm not going to do anything else. Just hit the home button on the scanner and now ready to actually continue on the computer. All right, now that the uh, scanner is transmitting a Wi-Fi signal, we should be able to actually pick it up on the list of available networks. Typically, it has uh, the serial number uh, as the Wi-Fi network name. So this is the serial number of my scanner over here. I'll leave the connect uh, automatically checked. Hit connect and we'll input that password that we saw on the screen. So it's 01234567789. Again, this is something that you can obviously change uh, as time progresses and you're actually messing with your own scanner. But by default, that's the password. So do you want to connect? We'll say yes. And uh, you can wait, but uh, essentially, once you see these little lines go in and the scanner's on, you don't have to wait for this to uh, give you a successful or unsuccessful connection because the connection's usually made. The only thing that it's checking for is internet right now. So um, a good rule of thumb is once it's all connected, you actually go in here and hit the properties button. And again, you only do this once, the very first time you actually connect to your scanner. Afterwards, it'll remember about other properties. It's not a bad idea to actually switch if your connection doesn't say private, switch your connection to a private connection. It might have somewhat better, um, I guess, authentication. And then there's certain firewall settings that uh, you may have to go into, but just uh, switching this to private allows this to be, uh, rec um, I guess, recognized later as a private connection and you can uh, mess with other settings. Now, uh, a very good uh, article that I use for um, uh, troubleshooting when I'm connecting for on-site registration is this one. I will copy this link into uh, the comments under, uh, underneath the actual video, but this tells you how to connect your Wi-Fi on your scanner, how to start your registration, and any uh, mostly a lot of, you see, this is where the private uh, check uh, or change in terms of the network uh, properties and profile is. Um, but this, if you're having problems with uh, uh, 
um, connecting and running on-site registration and on-site compensation this is a good article to actually refer back to so uh, if you want to you can obviously just pause the video and write down the uh, address but I will link this very article in um, my documentation so let's do this I'll fire up scene uh, scene requires you to uh, have this scanning category available if this is missing on your scene just check your settings and scroll all the way down and click this button that says show scanning category if this is unchecked that's why uh, this tab is not visible but we'll hit scanning and under scanning I'm going to go into, into the on-site registration tab. So click on-site registration and I will type in the IP address that we saw on the scanner uh, before we connected and when we turned on the Wi-Fi connection. So it should be 192.168.43 and 1. I'll hit connect and because the scanner was detected it says yep I see that serial number, I see the firmware, I see the uh, scanner type. So next step is essentially going uh, hitting the on-site registration button and uh, just configuring as you would uh, any other project if you have any other concerns or questions please leave them below